and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. It's Kelly here, and today we're gonna to be making an almost completely die cut Easter card. I have my watercolor wishes paper out and I'm gonna die cut that with the fancy scalloped rectangle. I'm then gonna take the new gotta have gingham paper here and I'm gonna find this really pretty yellow gingham and I'm gonna die cut that with a stitched rectangle as well. And these two pieces are going to layer there and look super cute. Now here I'm creating a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter and I'm going to layer these two die cuts on there and this is going to be the base of my card. So I love that cool watercolor wishes there and that kind of variation it has in that beautiful aqua color and then the gingham on top really kind of gives that spring Easter feel. I'm using an outside in Easter egg stackable and I'm gonna die cut some white cardstock and then I'm gonna use the Easter egg frames to die cut that same color of watercolor wishes paper as the card base so that it all kind of coordinates nicely together. Next up, I'm gonna be using the daisies from the Little Flowers dies. I'm gonna use both the large and small size and I'm gonna die cut a bunch of different colors of the watercolor wishes paper again. So we're gonna do that pink, the little aqua color there. We're also gonna work with the purple too and we're gonna mix and match those in this fun kind of Eastery spring color palette. So there you can see all of my cute flowers and I've just die cut them large and small from a bunch of different shades of these papers. I'm using the glue tube to add a little liquid adhesive to the back of the flowers, and then I'm gonna layer them on the egg to create this cool kind of decorated Easter egg design. So you'll see I'm gonna take that little frame there and use that as a guide to see how far in I need to push my flower to kind of start layering those on. And I'm gonna take the flowers and layer them around the edge and then kind of fill in the center from there. The thing I love about doing this is it doesn't really matter where you place the flowers because it's gonna look good no matter what. The other thing you could do would be to use different types of die cuts as well, so heart shapes or star shapes, so you could decorate Easter eggs in all sorts of different fun ways. Once all of the flowers are layered onto the egg, all we need to do now is to just cut off any excess. So I'm gonna put my scissors right along the edge of my egg die cut and let that egg shape kind of guide my scissors so that I'm just trimming off any of the excess. Once I get all of those trimmed off, I kind of realized that that upper left-hand corner was kind of blank. So I took one of those little pieces that I trimmed off and I'm just gonna layer that in there as if there was a flower coming out from the edge. No one's ever gonna know because that little frame is going to cover it up eventually. So you'll see now it really fills in that last gap there and I think it's a really cool look. I'm taking my watercolor wishes again, and I'm gonna cut out some of that yellow paper there with the little flower centers. So I die cut a bunch of both large and small flower centers. And then I'm gonna use my glue tube again to layer on all of those little flower centers to the flowers to kind of give them a nice finished look. I like to use the tip of my scissors to kind of help guide them right into the perfect placement in the center. And so now we'll add little yellow centers to all of our cute little daisies. And then next I'm going to take my little egg frame and layer that on top. And that's what's gonna make this look nice and finished. Though honestly, it looks pretty cute without the frame too. So I think it could look nice either way. To keep everything coordinating, I'm going to use the green paper from the Watercolor Wishes, and I'm gonna die cut that with the Spring Sprig die. And so I'll have two little sprigs there, and those are gonna decorate the side of my egg. Next, I'm gonna take out my dies from my Spring House add-on for the Scallop Treat Box, and I'm just gonna use that cute little bunny there, and I'm gonna die cut that from some ground coffee cardstock. So we'll have this cute little bunny to add to our Easter egg. Next up, we're gonna take some nice pink felt and I'm gonna die cut that with those same daisy dies. I love that the dies can cut through felt and by adding the little felt on there, it's gonna look like a little special embellishment. So I love those cute little felt flowers. So I'm going to take some glue and layer those two flowers on top of each other. And then I'm gonna take, I had some extra of those little yellow flower centers that were paper. So I'm just gonna use those and then layer that on top of the flower as well. Next up, I'm going to add a little glue to my spring sprigs here and layer them on the edges of my egg. I'm also gonna layer my little bunny with a little foam adhesive and my flower too. And I just had to thank Lynette here. I'm recreating a card by my friend Lynette for this video that was just so gorgeous and I had to ask her if I could do it for the video and she said yes. So thank you so much Lynette for this gorgeous card design. So there I'll add another little piece of glue there to my felt flower. And I love the addition of how Lynette put the felt with the paper. I just like the little mixing of styles there. It just looks so pretty and delicate. So I'm using a sentiment banner and I'm gonna die cut some white cardstock. 
And then I'm going to take the Happy Easter sentiment from the Sun Bunny stamp set, and I'm going to stamp that in some walnut ink onto that little banner. Once that's done, it's time to layer everything. So I'm going to add some foam dots to the back of my egg and my little Easter sentiment there, and I'm going to layer those both onto my card front. Next you'll see that I made a little mistake because that green piece there is kind of layering a little too far over my sentiment banner. And what I should have done is added the egg and to the card and then the sprigs after. But to fix that, all I did was just bend that little piece of paper, add a little glue to just one part of that little sprig there. And I can bend the paper and then I'm gonna hold it in place onto the Easter banner. And that's gonna keep it in the perfect place so that it's not covering the banner, but it still looks really awesome. So I'm just gonna hold that in place with my scissors while it dries and I fixed that little mistake and now the card looks really great. I always have a lot of stamping on my card, so it was really fun to try a challenge of just using almost all die cuts on a card. I had a lot of fun with it. And then here you can see how it's really easy to make multiple of these. You can layer the flowers however you like on the egg and it ends up looking so cute. So if you guys make some just all die cut cards, make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.